Hello Aquarius and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and Aquarius today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. We're going to find out about the person you're thinking about the most. We're going to see what they think and feel about you, what it is that they want from this, your actions, their actions in the near future. Let's see how you're feeling, what you want and as always we will get your potential outcome. So we have a karmic relationship, so triggers, turmoils, lessons, letting go and loving you. Let's see what's going on, what kind of karmic relationship this is. Spirit guides, talk to us about Aquarius here. What is this all about? So what you want, oh, that's how you're feeling. The Five of Pentacles. Let's see what they want. The Two of Cups. No, they want that together. The Two of Pentacles, okay? What are their feelings here for Aquarius? The Ten of Cups and walking away. The Eight of Cups. And their actions here in the near future is the Three of Wands. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck is you. <laughs> this person's thinking a lot about you, thinking a lot about the situation. You're feeling pretty left out, hurt, and neglected. You're pretty unhappy with this person at the moment here, Aquarius. Feeling sorrowful, trying to understand things, trying to figure things out. Um, what do you want to say about this Five of Pentacles here? Because what does this mean for Aquarius? What does Aquarius want here? The Six of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles again. And the Hermit. You want some time apart. You want some time of reflection here. I feel like you want to decide. You don't know what you want. You want to, you're trying to figure out if you should keep to this or if you should move on. With the hermit here, I do feel like you're not talking or you're feeling very silent. Or you're not expressing yourself in any way, shape, or form here, Aquarius. And um, you're trying to figure out how you feel, what you want, what it is that you'd like to do here. Do you give to this or do you move forward? So clearly there's a little bit of rift or con con conflict. Can't even say the word between you and your person here. What they want is for you to choose them <laughs> the two of pentacles and the two of cups they want your friendship they want your hand they want um they want to fix this but uh what they feel is you've already walked away they feel you've already bought your foot out the door and you're already going in a different direction they see you as their ten of cups though aquarius you're they're thinking about you a lot you're the overall energy here about your person so your person's constantly thinking about you fantasizing dreaming about you you are on their mind um but they think you've walked away from this that's how they feel they want you to choose them, but they also think that you've walked away and you've let this go. Is there anything else you want to say about that? Nope. Um, the three of wands is their action. Uh, I feel like they're just watching you walk away or they're waiting for the right time to talk to you. Clarify this. What is the three of wands here for Aquarius's person on Aquarius's mind? Whoa, they are. They definitely feel you. There you are. You're coming up really strong in their energy. The ace of cups in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. Or sorry, that's not the Eight of Cups. What am I saying? That is the Eight of Wands in reverse. So their actions are literally watching you walk away, accepting that you've blocked them. They've accept things as they are. They feel you've already put this behind you. They don't feel you're interested in them. They can't stop thinking about you. They wish things were different. They wish that you would choose them. Um, but they're literally watching you walk away. Maybe they're waiting for you to come talk to them because there's a, clearly a blockage of communication on your end. Yeah, you're the damn empress here. Six of Cups. They want you, they're waiting for maybe a sign from you or maybe the opportunity to come and talk to you. But I feel at this pleasant present moment here in the near future, you block this person. Block, 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 block. They've been blocked like a motherfucker. Um, but you're coming up as the empress. <laughs> so very independent. You know your value. You know your worth. And you don't put up with less than, less than what you deserve here. And clearly this person gave you less than here, Aquarius. Um, so you're standing your ground. They're waiting for you. They want you to choose them. They want you to come back to them, but they're just watching you kind of walk away. That's what I see here in the near future. We're going to get some oracles and see how things progress and if anything develops in the next month. Um, so spirit guides, what does Aquarius need to surrender to when it comes to this person? What do you want to say about this? Surrender your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Okay, well, you are the Empress and you know it. What is the caring connection between Aquarius and this person? Trust, huh? You need to have trust in order for a relationship to flourish. Maybe the trust has been broken here. The question is, are you going to, can the trust be rebuilt? I don't know about that, Aquarius. I don't know about that. What is the hidden truth? If this person could say something to Aquarius, what would it be, spirit guides? I hid who I really am from you. There is a lack. Oh. And I want to be more than friends. That's interesting. So um, 
well, clearly you don't like this person or, oh, I said that. I meant to say you don't trust this person, but um, <laughs> maybe you don't like them right now. I don't know, but that flew out of my mouth. So they weren't honest with you and you probably sensed that. Maybe they didn't get vulnerable. They didn't show you the right side of them. Maybe they showed you the side you didn't want to say. Um, but let's see, let's see where you guys are in a month. So that's what the message is. That's what they want to say. That's what's going on in the present. So let's get your potential outcome. So Aquarius, when I say potential, there's always free will, right? You're going to make the choices you're going to make. And when I say a month, how are you going? Do they come and talk to you? Is there a sign? Do you talk to them? Do you give them permission to talk to you? Cause I'm not so sure they even have permission to talk to you right now. Let's see. We have the four swords. Where's Aquarius and this person's spirit guides in a month? What do you want to say to Aquarius here? Four of Wands, the Hermit. Okay, two more cards and we shall get into this. Six of Pentacles. Got to move that, it's in the way. And Five of Cups. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. See, here's the thing. There's the Seven of Pentacles. There's the Emperor. Hmm. So, Aquarius, what I see is you you're not over it if you can't forgive and trust this person there ain't shit um there's no relationship without trust and the four swords and the five of cups tell sorry the five oh yeah the four swords and the five of cups tells us you are not over what happened you haven't forgiven you haven't moved past it you're still withdrawn the, i mean the hermits here you're still silent um it could be lack of communication or just lack of expression but you're not giving this person anything they have no inch they have nowhere to move here um the four of wands though is what's interesting and throwing me off i'm gonna have to clarify because the six of pentacles tells me that this was not an equal give and take. Maybe they took advantage of you. Uh, maybe they just weren't putting in the effort. Maybe they're stringing you along. Whatever that was, it wasn't an equal give and take. And there's no balance here. But then we have the four of wands in the middle. So what is that? Knight of cups. And judgment. The eight of pent. That's, that's what that is. In a month, this person comes whether you like it or not. <laughs> sort of say that. They do. They want to work on this. They're putting their heart out there. They think you're their soulmate. Their twin flame. Their soulmate. I said that twice. That's weird. They want to invest in this. They're, they're taking control here. They're stepping up to the plate. They're trying to bat a home run with you. They're trying to slide into home base here. Um, that's some weird baseball analogies, maybe like baseball, but they want to work on this. They want a second chance. So in a month from now, they're coming out of the silence here, but I don't think it matters. So you have a choice to make in a month. In a month here, Aquarius, this person's taking control of shit. They're coming whether you like it or not. They got something to say. They want to rekindle this. They want to work on this. They miss you. Um, they feel that there's a strong foundation here to build on and they don't want to lose you. So <laughs> in a month, you have a decision to make because they want to invest in you. And that's where you are with the person on your mind. So Aquarius, that's what I have. So in a month, you got a big decision to make. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. So thank you so much for the support, Aquarius. I genuinely appreciate it. Today, we're going to close your reading off with a yes or no question. The card comes up, it's a yes. If the card comes down, it is a no. Let's see what the answer is to your question. So spirit guides, yes or no? What's the answer for Aquarius here? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yes, that's what I have, Aquarius. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.